Ah. Hey, Maitre D's and Stripe T's. That's what I'm wearing today. Trying something new. What do you think? Hey, everybody, my name is John, coming at you with another video. Today, I want to discuss the topic of youth ministry. Many of you know that with the work that I do, specifically through this channel and a lot through traveling around, I get the opportunity to work and partner with a lot of different youth ministries or youth groups all around the country and all around the world. And to give you a little background on myself, I did not have the most traditional upbringing in terms of youth group in that I wasn't really a part of one at a church. The church that me and my family sort of semi went to growing up, I went to the youth group a few times and I just found it to be very clicky. I found it to be that there were a couple of those kids that were there every single week. They knew the leaders really well. Maybe the leaders were their parents or older siblings. And so they were really the in crowd. They were sort of the nucleus of the group. And then there were people like me who came in and didn't really know anybody, and so I sort of felt like I was always on the outside. On the outside, always looking in. And so to be honest, I wasn't really a part of a youth group growing up. The way that I sort of found my community throughout middle school and high school was actually through a Christian youth theater program that Sweet Bear and I were actually a part of. That's actually where we met. And really being in shows there and taking classes there, that is where I found my sort of Christian community growing up, not within the walls of a church, but actually within the walls of a third party ministry. And that youth theater company is also where I received my training in terms of being a youth leader or being a counselor or, or being a youth pastor or even a speaker. And so I find it kind of interesting that this guy with a very non-traditional youth ministry background in terms of both upbringing and training now travels around and speaks and works with a lot of what most people would consider very traditional youth groups around the country. And this is youth ministry of all different shapes and sizes. I've gone to conferences where I'm speaking to 2,000 students, and I've also gone and shown up where I'm speaking to three students that are a part of a small church youth group. The size don't matter. It's all about making an impact for Jesus. I have Jesus in my heart. But also to be completely honest with you, now that I'm an adult and now that that I'm a leader in a lot of youth ministry, that doesn't mean that I still don't have issues or take issue with some of the ways that youth ministry is done. One of the things that I find very frustrating, and I find this in a bunch of different youth groups all around the country, is that so much of youth ministry is focused on what I would consider two ends of a spectrum. It's all about getting kids saved and then immediately we switch to evangelism. It's all about winning those lost kids for Jesus, and then immediately we say, now you have to go out and witness to other people. And I wanna be careful here, while I think that's true, while I think that immediately, as soon as we have our encounter with Jesus, we can move forward and begin to invite other people into that as well, I think there is a huge portion that is sort of missing from a lot of youth ministry, and that is the portion that we would call discipleship. So much of the witnessing or evangelism talks that I hear in youth ministry are really all about how to defend your faith. Guess what? You're really gonna be persecuted. People are gonna make fun of you because you're a Christian. And there's this sort of glorification of being persecuted, and we spend so much time teaching these young students how to defend a faith that they really don't know anything about yet. And so if I have ever been a guest at your youth group, you know that the majority of the sermons that I give and the majority of my focus while I'm there is really on discipleship. It's about helping these students grow in their faith, helping them learn about Jesus so that when they go out and hopefully begin to invite their friends into this faith, they actually have a faith to invite them into, not just one moment that they had at a youth retreat. In Proverbs chapter 22, it says, start children off the way they should go. And even when they are old, they will not turn from it. And to me, that verse, it really speaks about the importance of discipleship. To not only get the students in the door, but to start them off in the way they should go. To begin to build them up, to disciple them, to help them learn more about this faith, to help them make this faith their own. And I think it's because of this lack of discipleship that we see these crazy statistics about how 59% of millennials who grew up in church at one point left and never came back. And I think part of that is because they were witness to 
and then immediately they were taught to go and witness. And never did someone actually take the time to disciple them and help them grow in their faith. And I don't want this to be a video about me complaining about youth ministry. Youth ministry does so many incredible things. I am a product in many ways of youth ministry. The reason I point out those frustrations is to let you all know the heart behind what I do. I view this channel in many ways as an opportunity for me to play a role in helping youth ministries disciple the students that they are walking alongside, but also to encourage any youth leaders out there to really double down on relationship really double down on discipleship. Yes, always be reaching out to get new students to come in, always be encouraging the students that you have to go and invite their friends, but also make sure that you care for the flock, you shepherd the flock well that Jesus has provided you with. And part of shepherding that flock means discipling them, it means training them up, it means starting them off in the way that they should go. Hey friends, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it encouraged you. I wanted to let you know that today's video is brought to you by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is an affordable, convenient, online way for you to get the help that you need or just to talk to a professional. Through BetterHelp, you can get access to fully licensed, fully accredited, fully trained counselors all online. And through this channel, you're actually gonna get directed straight to faith-based, Christian counseling. I know that there's a lot of you who watch this channel who are struggling with different things right now in your life. And I actually don't believe that the problem is the struggle. The problem is staying silent about your struggle. And so I want to encourage you to visit betterhelp.com slash John Jay, fill out their questionnaire. They'll match you up with the perfect counselor for you and you can get started with your counseling right away. Honestly, I have been a fan of BetterHelp for a long time. And so when they reached out to me about a partnership, I was super excited. So really, I I highly encourage you visit betterhelp.com slash John J today and get the help that you need. As for right now, that is the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to comment down below. Also, don't forget to visit the Patreon page if you want to help support this channel and help it grow and help it go. That is all I have for you today. I love you all. I'll see you next week with another video. Keep being awesome.